Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Two Beards Pints. Today, same day, basically. No, it is the same day, but like, but like today, and they're both are true, right? Today and same day is last episode. Okay. Uh, we're at Odd Otter, uh, but drinking the Otter Melon Hef. When she asked me what I wanted, I almost said Otter Malone. Because <laughs> I, I kept all, saying it. <laughs> I almost said it. I was like, Otter Melon. Malone. Good video. If you don't know what Water Malone is, <laughs> who are you? It's 2020. Come on. Meme it up. Come on. Uh, it's allegedly a light and fruity half made with watermelon extract. Checks out based on the smell. Smells like a Jolly Rancher. I don't see. I don't want a Jolly Rancher. No, I don't want it. So, so here's the thing. A wild ale that has Jolly Rancher, I'm okay with because I'm expecting it to be sour and light. A hef. You need to balance it with some sweetness. A hef. The sour is going to come from that like Bready. weedy bread. Yeah. And that, like, I don't think, man, this watermelon's really mushy. I wish it had more bread. sourdough in it. <laughs> <laughs> to make it taste more crisp. Not I, I my don't, thought, I don't usually. think that. No, not my thought, usually. Like, Watermelon like, sandwich. Well, like you said, too, when we were ordering, you're, or before we were ordering, we were looking at it, and you are like, oh, it's a half. It's not a lager. And you know, we brought up 21st Amendment's water, uh, high, higher, fuck, hell or high watermelon. That's what it's called. Uh, so here we go. I'm sorry to inform you, it does taste like a watermelon sandwich. <laughs> oh, there's a lot going on in there. Tastes like a watermelon and jelly sandwich. If I could take out the, the, the Sammy, I would be like, yeah, this is a watermelon beer. I don't, it's not my thing, but it's not bad. Uh, watermelon bread. Interesting. There's a lot going on. At, at first you're like, okay, there's some hops. And then you're like, there's the watermelon. That tastes nice. And then like, it's just rounded off by this like pure yeast. Yeast. And it's just like yeast and grain and like, like this earthy, sour, like vomit. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, we... We chose this knowing we weren't going to like this. It was not a normal style beer. No, not really. Uh, that but being it, said, ob but it, <laughs> objectively, if you like a Hefeweizen, and, or if you like, you know, fruitier, like, sweeter lagers, or, if you, you know, if you like Saison, sour kind of fruitiness, um, I still don't know that you would love this. It's kind of a weird balance of flavors. Like, Nick despises sour ales and wild ales and allegedly they're the same thing they're the fucking same, same off uh, color <laughs> i'll call you out again as much as he hates those i hate hefs so like like you said we knew I'm not gonna be the biggest fan i just it's unavoidable Yep. I, I, this is the one beer that, or the style of beer that I'm like I'm never going to like wish we started with this yeah good luck with a good taste in my mouth like we talked about how I don't like stouts but I mean even when we went to Dystopian and we had a stout I was like I could appreciate it there are things that I liked about it and there's things that I like about this beer uh, it's just really I weird just don't like it yeah you know yeah and, and yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Even if you liked Hess, you'll probably like it more than us. Yeah. But it's it's got an odd flavor combination. So, I'd... hey, if you like this beer, I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, good on you. Good on you. Well, I, I just like want to know what makes it a good beer to you because I got... That's probably it, right? I want to know like, I, why. I personally don't know how the flavor combination works for anybody. So, if, like, maybe maybe because it is your style of beer, the flavor combination works for you. Well, and yeah. it'd be nice to hear the insight on that, like, yeah. why it works for you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I was As you're saying that, I kind of want to, next time you come around, we'll be like, so have you tried them? What do you think of this? Yeah. Because uh, if you fucking like it, I need to hear why. And I'm not asking for your bullshit. Like, I want you to, like, sit down and, like, tell me why you like this. Okay. 
got a got a Levi moment for you. We Go don't on. get this often on pints. <laughs> oh yeah, side, pints. Side of the tongue. I taste. I don't know if it's just like Oreo cookie. It's like some kind of chocolatey, like wafer cookie thing on the side of my tongue. No, it's there. You just drink it like normal. Don't try to. Don't force it on the side of your tongue. Just drink it like normal. Side of your tongue. You get like this chocolatey. No. Cookie thing. No. Yeah. No, it's there. It's. It's there. It's watermelon. It's about halfway to like maybe eh, maybe like a third, third no, to halfway, and then it goes bread. You're wrong. Like you're not wrong about that. It's it's like right here, like like by your molars on your tongue. Just like do it, watermelon. Just like but again, watermelon. Okay, make sure you drink it like straight. Don't like put it on. Don't like slurp it around. Straight. Watermelon. I get watermelon in the back corners. No. I I don't accept that answer on this one. Because <laughs> normally you're like. Hey, Hey, I'm hear like, me out though. I'm like, this is this is me. It's gonna be weird. You. Hear me out though. This one, I am dying on this hill. Okay. Okay. Come here. Right. Try try this beer. If you like it, let us know why. And yeah, let us know why. And chocolate cookie. I I don't. There there's a flavor there. I'm like I'm like recalled to like childhood memory. I don't know what exactly it is. You need to ask this guy. I would actually like to know. Like, hey. Sip this for me and tell me you don't get chocolate cookie. I just okay. What are you What are you rating this beer? Mid D. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I, I, I mean, can't. I can't say. I wouldn't even give it a low because like it has things going for it that I see, but it's just too. It's too weird and too contrasting flavors that just don't work together in my mind. Yeah, I'm with you. So. The watermelon's good. I the, the watermelon is the redeeming factor. It's it, I, it's good. Well, if you cut the watermelon and you just have a half, it's like okay, that's a half. That's fine. Yeah, but the two, I don't know. Doesn't work. IMO. Get a divorce. The relationship's over. Um, that's bites. Sometimes we like the beer. Sometimes we don't. You decide. You go to Hot Otter, and you decide. That's pints.